Hoops, my name is Destruct, and today we're going to be doing five tips for Share Factory. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a lisp at the moment because I um, just had some like sort of glue behind my teeth removed. It's really annoying. Uh, it should be back to normal soon, but uh, I can't pronounce my S's anymore. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do five tips for Share Factory, and um, Share Factory is a great place to start for new YouTubers. It's accessible, it's easy to use. However, in the year and a half, I guess, of using it for a lot of my videos, uh, I've come across a lot of problems with it. Uh, which I've had to sort of work through myself. And today I just want to share with you my uh, the problems and solutions for uh, these problems on Share Factory. Um, so the first one we're going to do is um, splitting music. Uh, it's quite a simple thing, but basically what happens is if you uh, have gameplay which says three minutes long, and then you have music which is I don't know five minutes long. As soon as the gameplay stops, uh, this is added in, which is like a stupid background which. Uh, I, I was I, when I first saw it, I was like really confused. I was like, oh, trying to trying to sort of delete it. Like, why is that there? Um, but basically, it's there because there's still music in the background, and the share factory still needs to sort of uh, play the music for the rest of the video. But it's got nothing else to sort of show on screen. All you need to do for this is press square. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you bring up this menu. You go to edit music in the bottom right, and then basically wherever the gameplay stops, you press square. Um, you then press split music, uh, press X where you want it to end, uh, and you just press uh, square to bin the rest of it. And that means that the music stops when the gameplay stops, which is perfect really. Uh, and then you can do a load of other stuff like uh, fading in and out uh, to make sure it, it sounds okay. Now number two, we have trimming down clips in the catch capture gallery before going into Share Factory. Uh, I can't really show this on screen because uh, when you're actually recording with the PS4, it doesn't let you uh, show the actual PS4 menu because it's got stuff like my real name and other might have other details on it. Um, basically, with the new update with Share Factory, it doesn't let you move clips like left and right or whatever. Um, they've changed that because it it adds a lot of bugs into it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused, but what you want to do is before you get into Share Factory, uh, look through your capture gallery, trim it down in the capture gallery before uh, putting all your clips into Share Factory. Uh, then you don't have to do a lot of fiddling about. You know, if you want to move a clip, you know, you'll have to get rid of it and add it in again. It's much easier if the clips are already trimmed down uh, before you get into Share Factory. So that's just a simple uh, tip. Number three, uh, never delete clips in your capture gallery before the project you've been doing in Share Factory has been exported. I've done this so many times in montages where uh, I've been sort of close to the end of a montage and in the capture gallery I've just started deleting uh, video files. And basically, if you do that, you cannot uh, then access them in Share Factory anymore. It will just show um, that background that we saw a minute ago with the music and it just says a lot of the clips have been deleted. Uh, so we just put placeholders there. Um, so never delete clips until you are satisfied that you've finished your project on Share Factory. Otherwise you could really lose a lot of your clips and it's going to be really frustrating. I've had this happen so many times like you're forgetting uh, and I've just lost like my whole montage, you know. It's just really annoying. Now, number four, we have adding your own music via a USB stick. Now, so many people have asked about this on my montage uh, tutorial about sh on Share Factory, which I did quite a while ago and it's suddenly taken off now. Uh, so I wanted to add this in here. Uh, all you want to do for this is you need a computer, you need a USB stick, and uh, you need a PS4, and uh, you need some music of your choice. Uh, now, the music has to be an MP3 file, I must stress that. I've tried it so many times with them, um, like WMV files and just some other files and it just doesn't work, but uh, what you do is you put your USB stick into your computer, uh, you go to the file explorer or whatever, um, you add a new uh, folder into the uh, USB stick, you call it share factory. Uh, it has to be uh, uppercase share and then lowercase factory, otherwise it doesn't work, all one word. Then inside that folder, so you click on the share factory folder, you then add a new folder uh, and it's called music. I, I did. I just did upper, uppercase uh, M and lowercase uh, U, S and I and C. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, you're good to go. You put your music into the music folder, which is inside the Share Factory. And all you do then is you take out your computer, put it in the PS4, uh, then you go over. If I, I think I'll be able to get it up here right now. Is uh, If I just delete the music before we continue. Um, go to the beginning and add. Well, yes, you add music. Uh, we have USB import here. And obviously it's not going to 
it's not gonna let me do it because I don't have a USB stick in there at the moment. But as you can see, music book will be imported from the share factory music folder. So you have to have it like that in that order and those uppercase and lowercase. Uh, and then it will be able to add your own music. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff here, like a lot of pegboard nerds, a bit of Arix, uh, Virtual Riot, some other stuff, trap music and stuff like that, which I've used in montages in the past. So uh, it's a really useful way of just uh, just improving the quality of your videos by using your own music. Now, number five is kind of my personal opinion, this one. Um, but if I show you now some of the transitions you can get in Share Factory, if I just split down uh, some clips, uh, just split a few times, um, and if we press X to go to transitions, it'll bring up quite a few transitions. We've got cinematic transitions, which personally I'm not a fan of. Uh, I used to use them. Uh, they look kind of cool, but in an actual video, uh, they're not going to look very professional because people will know that you know you're just using these sort of cinematic ones, stuff like that. You know, like my personal opinion is that you should use the dissolves ones or maybe even the wipes. I mean, these ones aren't my favorite either. I've never actually used them, um, but these ones are the best. I normally use blur fade. Uh, if I show you it now. Obviously that doesn't really show anything. Hold on, let me delete that. Uh, here we go. So yeah, it kind of looks kind of professional and um, kind of looks good. We've got some other ones here, like just, just using simple transitions is going to um, just improve the quality. It's going to make your, your videos look more professional rather than using uh, these insane transitions which just look kind of ridiculous. I mean, if I replace this one with uh, one of the cinematic uh, ones if we look at maybe um i don't know this one here like look at this it's kind of ridiculous no one wants to watch you know these stupid uh transitions on happening on screen so just try and just try and keep your videos more sort of simple and uh use the basic transitions as opposed to these insane uh long drawn out ones so that's pretty much all I have for these five tips. Uh, I hope you did enjoy it and learned something new this time. Uh, I've had a lot of bad experiences with Share Factory, but also some good ones as well. I mean, you can check out some of my old montages, maybe the Destiny ones. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it's a great application. I definitely recommend it for new YouTubers, but you could probably find better um, editing software out there. If you've got the money, you could get some uh, much better ones. But this one's served me well for, for a while. Uh, hopefully they'll sort out the move clip bug, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.